Welcome to ENGI 2304. My name is Chad Wilson. Even though I may not be your instructor for this specific course, I am the Director of Technical Communications at the University of Houston. So um, you will first go to your specific instructor with questions. And if you need to reach your instructor, you can go to Blackboard and go to Tools and then send email to instructor and you can reach your specific instructor there. Um, or if you go send email to all instructors, then it will also go to me. And you can also contact me directly. So this is the first video you should watch. And I wanna talk about two documents today that one is the policy statement and the other is the schedule. You should download those now. Go ahead and go right to it. I'll wait. Just kidding, I'm not gonna wait. Go download the documents. You need to read through them. Those are the first things you, can, you should do for the class. The policy statement explains all of the policies for the semester. And one of the things you're gonna learn about technical writing is that the titles are generally descriptive, unlike in English class where you write essays. Who knows what that means? Uh, I actually do know what that means. It means to try, which doesn't mean anything. It comes from the French essayer, to try or to attempt. So what you're doing is writing an attempt. Technical writing doesn't do that. It's a policy statement. What is it? It's a statement of the policies. When you write a proposal, the proposal proposes. A recommendation report recommend, is a report that recommends. So the titles are actually descriptive of the thing that they are. And you will learn this as you go through this class. The policy statement not only describes all the policies, but also describes all of the assignments. You'll, at the end, you'll see descriptions of almost all of the assignments in the class. Um, the conventions assignments are in a different document, and then a few may be described in the schedule or fleshed out in the schedule. But you, you should go ahead and read through the entire policy statement. Now, to illustrate this, there was a professor at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. His name was Kenyon Wilson. No relation to Chad Wilson. But anyway, Kenyon Wilson put in his syllabus that um, a code, a locker number, and a combination to a locker on campus where a student could go and open it and get a $50 bill. No strings attached. First come, $50 bill. The money went unclaimed. Don't let this happen to you. Read through the entire syllabus. Now, just to be clear, I didn't hide any money. You're not gonna get any money by reading through the syllabus, but it will help you with the class. And in fact, the first quiz you have to take for this class is called the Academic Honesty Policy Quiz. And in order to take that quiz, you have to read through the entire academic honesty policy, which you can find on the quiz or also in the policy statement. The entire policy statement, you have to read through that, and the entire schedule. And then you have to sign a document stating that you read through it. You read through all of them. This is to encourage you to read through them. There should be no surprises as we go through this class. So you're gonna read through the policy statement. Uh, I'm going to go through most of the things separately, the assignments. I will give you separate videos about those. Some of them I won't because they're explained fully here, but some I will flesh out in further videos. Uh, just want to make clear this is an asynchronous class. We are not having a specific meeting time. There may be optional office hours. Your instructor may set up a group me or other ways for you to meet or Zoom office hours or in Microsoft Teams. Um, you need to speak with your specific instructor. Your instructor will give you that information. You do need the textbook. That is Leo Finkelstein's Pocketbook of Technical Writing for Engineers and Scientists. Um, it is the third edition. You need to get that as soon as possible. The, all of the assignments are listed in the policy statement. The academic honesty policy is discussed a little bit there. Also, you need to go and make sure you're familiar with that honor code. Um, we don't really have absences because this is an asynchronous class. The drop date is listed. 
You are not allowed to record anything. All of this expl is explained before you get to the explanation of assignments. Now, late assignments will be accepted, but a letter grade is taken off per day that they are late. And that per day um, is usually, so we're going to divide this up. If this is a regular semester, it's per class day, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So from Monday to Wednesday would be one day, Wednesday to Friday would be one day. If this is a summer class, it's going to be different. That would be actually one day, one working day. And if it's a winter semester, that would be the same. It's one day. Uh, also, you're going to be, have to do peer reviews of each other's work. You're gonna form a peer review team. I'll talk about that in a separate video. And you're gonna to have to do a discussion board, which I'll talk about in a separate video. But make sure you read through that entire policy statement. I want you to know that you're writing a recommendation report for this class. I want you to know where to find information on the resumes. So turn to the schedule, the spring 2020, 2022 schedule, or whatever schedule you're working with, whatever semester this is. First, you need to know that everything that's there is due by 11.59 p.m. on the day that it is listed. So if it says Wednesday and it has take the academic honesty policy quiz, that quiz is due by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday. Then also due, same time, is the videos. You should watch the videos, there are two of them. Convincing engineering resumes and the engineering resume. You need to watch both. One is about 10 years older than the other one, but they both contain, contain good information that you need. You should watch those and then take the quiz on convincing engineering resumes before 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, okay? Also, you have the formal email due. I'll talk about that in a separate assignment. So just wanna make sure you understand how to read the schedule. Everything that's there is due by 11.59 p.m. on that day. Now, the quizzes. The quizzes are not meant to be tricky, but the language is meaningful. When a quiz asks you which of the following is a reason why X happens, there may be more than one reason. It doesn't say which one of the following. So it could be three out of the four, or it could be all of them. So just pay attention to the language. I didn't mean them for them to be tricky when I wrote them, but it turns out some students do find them tricky. So just pay attention to whether it says which of the following or which one of the following, because sometimes there will be more than one correct answer. All right, that's all. Make sure you download the policy statement and schedule right now and read through them and before you sign that academic honesty policy quiz. All right, let's have a good semester.